but I'm back and I'm here to share with you a fantastic app uh, available on the iPad and iPhone. So first, we're going to go to the web page. The app is called AirPlay It and it allows you to stream your media anywhere over Wi-Fi and over your cellular 3G or 4G network. It's a fantastic app. I really love it. I use it, um, I use it in the morning and, at, and uh, at night if I'm not sleeping on the bus. Um, it's pretty much an hour's commute each way to work and um, if there's nothing, if uh, I don't want to check out Netflix uh, on my phone, I can always check out the, the media that's, uh, that's uh, downloaded uh, to my computer and stream it over the cell 3G network and uh, watch it wherever I am. So it's, uh, it's really neat. And uh, yes, I do have a 6 gig data plan, so that helps uh, when streaming uh, movies um, through the cloud. Anyways, this uh, app right now is only available on uh, Apple devices, so the iPhone and iPad. If you scroll down to the page, uh, the website is airplayit.com. Uh, they are working on an Android version right here, Android coming soon. And uh, again, it's available on the iPad and iPhone. Now there's two parts to this. Uh, first part being, yeah, you need to download the app. The second part is that you have to download a small server to your computer. And uh, it's available in Windows and Mac. And it's uh, you just download it, install it, very minimal setup. Okay, it even tells you how to set up your network so you can stream it uh, remotely over 3G. Okay, and uh, this, this uh, server is also, uh, you can also access it via web browser. Um, and um, we can do that as uh, I'm going to show you that as well. So first, this is my media server right here. This is my media server. It's a Windows media server. Okay, and this is where I download all my media and I stream it to my PlayStation. And, and now uh, streaming goes to my uh, my I my iPhone. So there's uh, six tabs. The first tab, I'm not going to click on. It's going to give away your uh, IP address and uh, what port you have, uh, you're have. you running your server on. Okay, This is uh, very important when you are uh, streaming media, especially remotely Okay, through the cloud. Uh, you, uh, the second tab is your permissions level. Um, if you've got some porn you want to keep your wife uh, away from um, because she's just a porn addict and uh, you're trying to control the addiction, uh, you can set up a pin here, set up anything you want um, for for the access levels here um, for kids. And then there's also a public where, uh, see that public, there's no access. You just um, tell you the truth. I haven't used this part, but like I said, it controls access levels to your app. Here is uh, where you add your folders. Now this is the probably the only part where you'll have to configure your server. Um, let's, I mean, I've already configured a, a, a video, the video folder, the downloads folder, the music folder. Just for the sake of this video, we'll add another photo, uh, another my photos uh, folder. Uh, but this does not share f uh, pictures. Okay, I'm just adding the folder uh, for the sake of the video. Show you how to, how simple it is. So you click on Add Folder, click on Browse, you come to your uh, folder listing here, scroll down, let's go to My Pictures, OK. You also get to give it a name, and then you click OK. Then that's it. And now here's where you give the access to. See the permission levels here? So an admin can access this, kids can access this, and anyone that just logs in is part of the public group automatically and whatever they'll be able to see. Now let's say you do have, let's say you have your porn in the download section, you'll probably want to uncheck, uncheck, and only give yourself that access as, uh, as the administrator. Okay. Then there's the conversion tab. Okay, and this is where uh, uh, you would set up any converting tasks. Uh, and this is actually nice because uh, it lets you um, select different profiles iPhone high definition iPhone iPad Apple TV uh, also YouTube okay get out of there 
There's also a web tab that also has my IP address on it, so we're not going to go there. And then the last part, the settings tab, check, uh, check for new version, uh, log in when the computer starts, and then there's a, you specify a output folder for your uh, converting. And this is the, the server software, very simple. Runs in the background in your taskbar. Um, again, this computer here is a media server, so I really don't uh, measure uh, performance on it, but all my media from here streams just fine. It's a Core 2 Duo, Core 2 Duo 1.86 uh, megahertz uh, CPU, 2 uh, gigs of uh, RAM, 80 gig hard drive. It's not that big, but as soon as I'm done my movies, I just uninstall. Uh, sorry, I just delete all the videos that I watch to keep the hard drive clean. And this is the media server. Now here is the web version of uh, of when you log in. Well, there is no logging in. You just type in your IP address with the port, and this and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a just text listing of all the media that's available on your uh, server. Okay, now there's two links after each title here, and it's play, try direct play, and then play with live convert. I always do the try direct play first, and it works just fine. Being on a Mac, what we do is we click the link. It's going to ask you to save a file. We're just going to leave it as the six zeros there. Click save. And uh, I use VLC, so I'm going to bring up VLC and open up that, the, the downloaded file. Okay, so here's my VLC media player. I'm gonna just gonna go to File, Open, and in my download section, there's that uh, six zero titled file. Okay, it's called avi.cdcr download. Okay, all you're gonna do, just click Open. Now this warning comes up. It thinks that the AV file is broken and it wants you to repair or not. I always select Don't Repair. Just play it the way it is. And there you go. Nice, smooth streaming. Okay? So that is the web-based version of the server that uh, you can uh, just uh, go to and uh, watch your movies. Uh, if it's not, if uh, the if it's not blocked at work, you can use this at work <laughs> during your break, or eh, what the hell, why not? While you're doing in the middle of your uh, of your job. So uh, we're going to move to the iPhone. So I'm going to move to the uh, camera. We're going to show you what the what the app looks like on the iPhone, and I'm going to sh we're going to run uh, a video off of the 3G network just to show you how smooth it is and just just what a wonderful app this is. Okay, guys. So here is my iPhone. I know it's a little bit out of focus, um, but that's because of the uh, flip cam here. Doesn't focus when it's up close. So there's the app right there. AirPlay it. We're going to launch it. Okay, and you got two sections here. The top section is local server. This is what you would use if you are uh, on the uh, same uh, at home, pretty much. You're on the same network as your media server. Now here I haven't set it up yet, uh, but the setup here is the same as remote server. You would give it a name. You enter the IP address, uh, port number, okay? Um, the pin number here, this is what gives you access. If that was blank, you would get public access when you would log into remote server. And then there's remote, uh, there's connection type. And you've got four options there. Here we are. Uh, local Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi, um, remote Wi-Fi, and 3G, 4G. Okay, so if you're at home, you would use local Wi-Fi. If you were at a Starbucks, you know, where there's free Wi-Fi, McDonald's, you would use remote Wi-Fi. And um, being on the Bell Network, I would choose 3G. Um, or if you are on uh, any other provider that offers 4G and had and your phone was on the 4G network, you would select the last one. All right. So we're going to go back to our server here. We're going to go to AirPlay It uh, remote side because we are on the cell network right now. We're going to be using our data. And here is our listing here. So we're going to go into My Video and... 
This is all the video folders that I got. These vault folders here are, in, are outside of a folder. They're not in a folder. So keeps as long as you keep your directory organized, it, it shows you uh, the folders and all that stuff. So it's really nice. Let's go to the Jersey Shore. Okay, we're going to play back a video here. So we're going to show you just how smooth playback is over the 3G. It's really nice. Um, so we got play, playback settings, and then offline conversion. Offline conversion, again, is neat when, uh, let's say, you're uh, flying away. You forgot to load your media onto your uh, your device. Um, hop on some free Wi-Fi. If you can get a free Wi-Fi signal, hop on. Click offline convert. and It'll download the video to your phone or iPad. All right. So we're just going to hit play right away. Okay. There you go. Dana definitely has a crush on Pauly, and Dana can die happy now. I feel like we're very close. So there you go, guys. Very, very See? Close. It's not bad. Pretty smooth. No buffering. And it's really good. Let's stop that before we infringe on uh, some copyright laws. And uh, tap done. And there you go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, some of you will uh, try out AirPlay It. It's a really neat app, really easy to use, and most importantly, it's free. Uh, and it's actually got a uh, very high rating on, uh, on the uh, App Store, on Apple's App Store. So a lot of people are enjoying it. Uh, if you, and if you're ever running into problems, there is the forums, the support forums at AirPlayIt.com. Uh, ask questions and people are there to offer help and, and, and to get you back up and running. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon in my next video, and uh, I'll try not to uh, spread them apart so far. I've been really busy, so haven't been up, up uploading regularly. But have a great weekend, guys, or whatever the time of week it is. Ciao for now.